So we're gonna have a good time. No one's gonna get arrested. If you're with <laughs> us, you'll be safe. If anyone grabs you, we'll protect you. No one's going to jail. Uh, we're not going to engage on the Capitol grounds. It's too much of a mess, right, to get in through there. But we'll be outside on the fence line to assess it. If you want to check it out yourself, that's fine. Have a buddy to hold your, your weapon and try to get through that line. It's going to be hard there. There's only 30 people that's going to do security checks, and they're trying to get 10,000 people through there in five hours. It takes 30 seconds to a minute to get through that. It's not going to happen. Um, I went through there last night and <laughs> checked it out myself. Uh, but if you stay with the group, we're all going to come back safely. We're not going to leave anyone behind. Uh, we're going to have John lead us into a prayer, and then we're going to roll out. All right, you guys want to circle up? You can't. You don't want to circle up. All right, so, uh, Lord Jesus, we thank you for everyone being here. We want everybody to stay safe today. And we thank you for um, protecting everybody today, for granting us the ability to protect our, ourselves to be able to continue to protect ourselves. Um, you're the architect of the universe, and, and we thank you for uh, enabling us to have everything that we have, and it's only through your um, mercy and generosity that we have it. So we thank you. We want everyone to stay safe today, and uh, uh, encourage everybody to look out for each other as well. Uh, in your name, in your son's name. Mm -hmm. Let's show the Hong Kongs that we're the Americans they think we are. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
ultimately, you know, that's where the government steps in and says we can do this. Right. Yeah, I would say the culture here under Virginia is very much under attack. Uh, gun culture is Virginia culture, right? <laughs> this is the way. Uh, and there's tens of thousands out here right now uh, crusading for that cause. And I think it's great that you came all the way out from, uh, what, California, flying in? Uh, I flew in from uh, Mexico. That's where I'm running my campaign right. HQ. So, um, but I'm, I'm going all over the U.S. to campaign for president in 2020. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, I'm going to call out Texas because uh, I'm, a, I'm a Texan. Um, that's, that's, where I, that's where I declare my home. And uh, I'm calling out Texas because I know, you know, you guys have a lot of interesting uh, gun legislation that, that they're trying to push. Um, and, you know, we had to fight really hard just to get open carry a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, we can go even further. But I mean, look at what's showing up here. Uh, Texas, I'm calling you guys out. You got to you got to make this happen in Texas so we can get some more gun rights out there. That's right. If Virginia can do it, so can Texas. Absolutely. All right, last question. Is uh, taxation the price for civilization? No, taxation is theft. All taxation is theft. <laughs> Six separate This one is a jury nullification, and then that other one oh. is to DIY guns. Cool. That's awesome. And the same on all of them. So what brings you out here to the Big Igloo? So me and my partner were both EMTs down in Jersey. We uh, decided that well, since my buddies are out here, you know, and their rights are being taken away. Decided to come out, came down here on a whim, decided we would just support our rights because that's what we're here for. I live in Jersey. I can't own most of this stuff. So when that happened down there, I was too young, couldn't do anything about it. I wanted to change that. I wanted to do something about it. So I came down here, put my voice in, make sure it's heard. Thanks for uh, coming out here and heeding our call. Uh, like what happens here can happen to any other state for sure. Now, why are gun rights so important to you? So as a first responder, a lot of times we have law enforcement that protect us. Where I come from, my town, we don't have law enforcement. We protect ourselves. So a lot of us carry our own weapons. It's not really a, a part of the law, but you know, I'm not gonna wait 45 minutes for a cop to show up when I'm getting shot at. I'm gonna shoot back. Um, and having 10 round magazines out there really help, hurts us because bad guys don't give a shit about gun rights. Right. They don't care. They're gonna get 30 round mags, they're gonna get box mags, they're gonna get drums, they're gonna get all that stuff. They're gonna get armor piercing, and I'm not gonna follow that. If I can't protect myself, then no one else should, and I feel that that should be universal. Everyone should be able to protect themselves, have what they need. Right, like Jack Wilson, one shot down at that church shooter in my white settlement, Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does it mean? You have, you have Hong Kong looking at us as an example of uh, heroic freedom, right? So for us, what does it mean to be an American? Whew, that's a question I haven't been asked. Uh, basically just defend your rights, what the forefathers gave us, what they told us we should have. I mean, this is something that they said would happen is a tyrannical government. And clearly, as you can see, we showed up in force. I mean, I've met people from as far away as Hawaii that flew in for this thing. Wow. And they're all the way down here because they heard that the people's rights were in trouble. They wanted to defend it. And it doesn't matter what skin color, what ethnicity, where you come from. We all fight under the same flag and I'll be the, it'll be the end of my days when I stop fighting for that. Right. It wasn't uh, government state agents that came out here. It's people from these other states. And hopefully this can be also reciprocated when other states need a call for aid in the same similar matter. Absolutely. I'd love to see this happen in Jersey so we can actually have some of these laws reversed. Because I'm sick of having to get 20, have all my friends get 20 round, 30 round mags. And here I am, a little 10 round magazine. So, right. Well, thank you so much for coming out, Six Emperor Tyrannus. It takes money to campaign to put conservatives in the office to stop bullshit like this. And that's from your local level all the way up to the President of the United States. But all your politics starts at your local level. It's time we start electing conservative people who are like us and turn this shit around. What brings her here to Richmond to the Capitol? Well, Cal, it's very simple. Protecting our liberty and our way of life. If we let the government strip our liberty from us, we are no longer a free people. And now, Charlie, do you really need a rifle? What do you think uh, gun rights are so important to you? This, the one Cal, is not a rifle. This is a 12-gauge shotgun. But yes, I also carry a rifle, as you well know. Gun rights mean to me, we protect the people against the tyranny of government. That's why we have our gun rights. Not to go hunting, but to protect 
our people against government tyranny. And what does it mean to be a Virginian? What does it mean to be a Virginian? Live free. That's what it means to be a Virginian. And if we can't live free, there's no reason to live at all. Thanks for coming out, doing your part. I love you, brother. <laughs> love you too, buddy. What brings you out here to the capital of uh, Virginia? I want to express my opinion, express our views, show everybody we're not the boogeymen they think we are, you know. And what is your opinion on uh, gun rights? Do we need rifles, uh, assault muskets? We, we need assault muskets, absolutely. Man, that's the whole bit. Forward grip, I mean, it's time. <laughs> It's time. Um, but yeah, seriously, what do they think about, uh, you know, they're saying that you don't need uh, an extra, you know, round uh, in your magazine, for example, you know, that would make uh, everything unsafe. I don't think it would. Right. It's plenty safe as it is. Chill vibe out here. It's a nice day. Do you feel that this is probably the safest place in all of Virginia? Right now? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And what does it mean to be a Virginian? It means to stand up to tyranny. Death to tyrants. Amen. Well, thanks for uh, coming out here, vibing with us, and uh, being part of the Ron Paul militia. What brings you to Richmond, Virginia? I am from Raleigh, North Carolina, and I came up um, because I wanted to be, support the movement. I think Virginia is where it started. Virginia might be where it ends, but either way, I uh, wanted to see it. And what does uh, gun rights mean to you? Ha, right. So um, I believe with several other great Virginians, I'm going to quote Patrick Henry. He said, the great object is that every man be armed. Every man who is able may have a gun. And I think that defines not only the American experience, but also individual liberty. It's, you know, it's worthless if you can't protect it. Right. They so. all, the Second Amendment protects all the other ones. Correct. Because I can say, no, 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 my right says you can't rob from me. My right says don't rape me. But my voice is not as loud as a pistol shot. <laughs> right. So we have the whole world looking at us. We have Hong Kong looking at what American is, right? Uh, what does it mean to be? America, Hong Kong hopes you are. Right, right. Uh, yeah, so what does it mean to be an American then? I would say, so in 1792, James Madison wrote a letter to the Boston Gazette, and it's called Charters. And he said, in Europe, charters of liberty have been granted by power. And the idea is, is that in every other country in the world, until America, the foundational concept is the government starts with all the liberty, and they dole some out to you. And maybe they dole out less to her and to me, because we're not the right sex. And maybe they dole out less to that guy, because he's not the right color. But the government starts with it all. In America alone, charters of power have been granted by liberty. Liberty starts with all the power, and we give small, select bits to the government the same way they used to dole it out to us. And if it doesn't say the government can't do it, it's null and void. Right, right, yeah. 78, Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, these are supposed to be inalienable, right? God-given rights, not government-given rights. They're not privileges, they're right. rights, <laughs> yes. Well, thanks for coming out here and joining us, Bullock Boogalorians, and, uh, Six Emperor Tyrannus. <laughs> Always. Always. And I hope they know the Latin. Like a ritual type, you know, annual thing. Right. Then, you know, people people get used to it. Because I think, I don't know, for a lot of time, for a lot of things, it's like the first time you go to an event, you don't know what to expect. What brings you here to Richmond, Virginia? Well, Convention States Project is a, supports the Constitution, so we're here. Not only to gather uh, people to, in support of our project, but also to show support for the Second Amendment. Yeah, I've heard of Convention of the States. It's trying to get like a majority of states to kind of pass through like amendments of sorts, right? Article 5 of the Constitution allows two-thirds of the states by application to call for a Convention of States where, yes, they would hold the convention, they would propose the amendments, and then they would go through the same ratification process where three-quarters of the states would have to ratify the, pro the amendments to come out of that. So what we're asking for is uh, term limits on federal officials that can also include federal judges. Um, we're asking for a, we're saying fiscal responsibility. So not just a balanced budget amendment, but also uh, limiting how much Congress can tax us. Because if we say just balance the budget, 
they'll just raise taxes to balance the budget. And then we're asking for them to limit the size and scope of the federal government, like defining the Commerce Clause as meaning just that, regulating commerce between the state and not everything that happens inside the state. Now, at what point do you think when government overreaches, overtaxes, overregulates, Ted, we can just come together and just abolish the government and just bring back all the powers back to the states, like under uh, the Articles of Confederation? Well, the Articles of Confederation didn't work too well. You the federal just, government. <laughs> well, if you look at the enumerated powers, if they actually stuck to their, you know, their 22 enumerated powers, it'd be fine. And doing things that are uh, necessary at a federal level, like you know, immigration and national defense. Um, but I think as far as if we get it back to that level where it was just limited to its enumerated powers, I think it would be um, probably the best way to go. I think if you had 50 independent states, you'd have a lot of squabbling. States wouldn't talk to each other. They wouldn't tra uh, trade with each other. And uh, you know, What's wrong with that? I mean, I'm sure that uh, we don't want any Californians coming here to Virginia, right? Uh, isn't that the saying, don't California or Virginia? Well, yeah, but, you know, they kind of make avocados and oranges, and we kind of like those. So. I'm okay with trading avocados and oranges for Californians not coming here with their <laughs> culture of anti-gun. That's true, but I think, you know, Realistically, we should have a, a, not only a flow of commerce, but of ideas and try to be respectful of one another. And, and um, but I think you need a certain amount of federal government uh, in order to just, you know, kind of facilitate some of that things. You know, as well as uh, Ben Franklin said, in life, you need a little bit of government, a little bit of luck to get through and only a full trust in both. But so the Convention of the States could abolish government theoretically. No, because we derive our power from Article 5 of the Constitution. So we're strictly limited to creating amendments to the Constitution. You'd have to have the states call for a separate um, actual constitutional convention in order to do that. So that would be driving this authority. Um, if you look back at when they did the Articles of Confederation, they met in um, April of 1889, uh, 1789 in Annapolis, actually, to amend the Articles of Confederation. You realize that didn't work. Then Virginia actually kicked it off and actually called for a constitutional convention. And that's when they met in, in July of 1789 to form the, what we have now. So in order for actually us to be able to abolish the federal government, we'd actually have to have like Virginia say, we want a constitutional convention and we would like to have it for the purpose of creating a whole new government. Oh, uh, okay. Um, what, right. So being out here at this gun rally, what does gun rights mean to you? Well, we see that as kind of the linchpin that keeps, secures all the other rights. You know, exactly. it's kind of hard. You know, it's easy to tell somebody to shut up, but it's hard to tell somebody to shut up when they've got a gun. <laughs> right. And uh, last question, what does it mean to be a Virginian? This is the birthplace of liberty. This is the, 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 the state that started it all, and it means um, being the ones that should be on the forefront of liberty and standing for freedom, and that's what we're here to do today. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming out and showing your support. You. Six Emperor Tyrannus. <laughs>
Right, that's how it starts. Yeah, well, no, no, no. We just want to know who has guns, right? Yeah. Keep track of them. Make sure that they're not crazy. And to get into your medical records, we got a break of other fucking bunch of laws, too. Right. Now, we have Hong Kong calling out for American aid. They see us as a, an example of how to, how to react to these sort of stuff. What does it mean to be an American? I mean, personally, I would love to go and help them, but it's like... It's across the yeah. Pacific Ocean and right. stuff, you know, and my heart bleeds for those people. And I mean, their own government can't even stand up for them. They're, I mean, look at the size and the power that China has. And judging by the looks of them in the street, they look like they want to die free instead of live on their knees. So. Uh, well, I think that uh, this is a good showcase for many great things to come. Uh, I really appreciate you guys coming out here uh, and joining the great big igloo party out here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you so much. Six Emperor Tyrannus. Thank you. Yes, sir. Taxation is theft. That's right. <laughs> the taxation is theft. So the roads are theft? So the roads are theft. So who, who made the roads here? Was it government? Who built the roads? No, no. Private businesses come here and build it. Government doesn't build the roads. Actually, no, they don't. No, my friend is a road builder here. He makes roads here. Contracted no, by the government. Businesses build it, not the government. Please, come on. Easy to figure that out. Work for the city. Yeah, okay. Yeah, walk away. Walk away. Triggered. Triggered. Snowflake. Trigger sword. And that's how you handle that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get the? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Most of it. At the end. Does anyone I, didn't like, get the, I, get, I didn't get your he confrontation. Was, he was, oh, I, I thought I was recording, but I missed it. He was about to, My first thought when I saw it, I'm like, oh, no, we're Sam. She went and she took up. How did, how did that start? Oh, he, oh, he literally just straight up aggroed the fuck out of everyone. He was like, <laughs> Dude, fuck out of here. It's extortion. How do you get rolled? I love getting his money <laughs> stolen so from me. Yeah, it's like they donate yeah. more, you fucking retard. Like. So what brings you out here to Richmond, Virginia? It was a pretty day. I just wanted to take a walk downtown. Armed, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now, what is... Uh, with all this show of uh, force here, what does uh, gun rights mean to you? Why, are, why is that important? Uh, golly, it, it's, it's such a big topic. Uh, uh, it's, uh, we could talk for hours about that. Uh, it, this is a fundamental right that humans have to protect themselves. Uh, people have known that for thousands of years. Uh, this is nothing new. It goes beyond the Second Amendment. It's deeper than that. And uh, and you can see people here uh, resonate with that uh, desire to protect themselves and their families, uh, and they won't be stopped. All right, you'll say it's part of our cultural history in terms of fighting back. It is. It is a, a, a part of our cultural history, and it it uh, it goes right back to the beginning of Jamestown. <laughs> right. Uh, that's what they were doing there uh, when Captain John Smith. Uh, uh, detected an attack what did he do he sounded the alarm you know what alarm means all oh, arm that's what it means and, and yeah. so uh it, it's it's been going since the very beginning and even before that long time before that what do you think uh the outcome will be with this kind of show of force you think it'll continue or what do you think the results of this will be How will that well i i think one thing is that um uh in the coming elections uh some people who were asleep won't be asleep There'll be uh, there'll be ripples, you know. I, everybody has their own opinions about elections and and and, and that sort of thing. But uh, I think a lot of people are being awakened. Uh, this will resonate uh, around the country. I've got friends in Japan who are watching this too, and in, in Great Britain and Europe. So it, it, uh, this is very important. It it shows people are beginning to pay attention. Right. And last question: What does it mean to be a Virginian? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does it mean to be a Virginian? <laughs> uh, it goes deep to your roots, deep to your very core. Uh, 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 Patrick Henry uh, up there, up there on, on, on the hill, you know, give me liberty or give me death. That, that's, that's, he was putting into words something that many people had believed long before that. that this was nothing new, but he put it into words and... and uh, there were so many others, uh, Richard Henry Lee and George Mason and, and many, many others. Uh, so uh, it, uh, what, what it uh, is to be a Virginian, uh, deep and broad, but it basically means uh, you want your own life. Uh, you, you demand your own life. Right. 
And, and you will have it. Right. One way or another, with force or hopefully through peace. Absolutely. <laughs> hopefully through peace. Thank you so much for Cal, coming out. Thank yes. you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Always. Yeah, Six you. separate Tyrannus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Freaking awesome. So what brings you out here to Richmond, Virginia? Um, I live nearby. I live about 10 miles away in Chesterfield, and I heard a lot of fuss. There's going to be a, a rally, um, like civil rights kind of thing. I heard a lot, but the main thing I kept on hearing was like, it's going to be about bearing arms, and I don't know if it was earlier this afternoon, but I don't see any bear arms. I'm a little embarrassed, really, actually. <laughs> or arming bears. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. There's a bear around the corner. I don't know if you saw that dog bear. No, I didn't. God, yeah. Get, talk to that thing. <laughs> what, is, uh, what do gun rights mean to you? Why are they so important? Um, in America, we're blessed to be confused and lied to institutionally by our leadership. Um, that's 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 precious. I've traveled, I've spent 10 years overseas, 33 countries. The rest of the world where you don't have guns rights, they don't lie to you. They don't talk to you. They don't even pretend to listen to you. So we still have that. So I'm in favor of our leadership still confusing us, swindling us, and lying to us. Because that means at some level, they still are influenced by us. And the moment the Second Amendment goes away, we're not going to get lied to or talked to or even... That's right. There'd be no conversation. All right. There'll just be a boot, a boot on your neck. And then, yeah, in the rest of the world, our bubble doesn't mix with leadership's bubble. Right. Here, we still mix. At some point, some street, at some restaurant, we overlap. The rest of the world, it's not that way. Right. You know, you either have a servant or you are a servant. You live on a dollar a day or you live on the backs of the people that do. Right. We have a very unique thing here in the world. I think it's worth protecting. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's it. That's it. What do you think uh, it means to be a Virginian then? Being a Virginian is, um, originally I'm from the South, so the further North I've traveled, the more fiercely Southern people are. Like in Mississippi, nobody, nobody's Southern. Uh, nobody knows anything else. So Virginia is kind of like an estuary. You got a mixing of different cultures, influence, energies, and different waters. So um, being in the backyard of D.C. gives us a different position, too. Um, so that leads to things like this. I like the way this has gone today. And um, I'm proud of that. I'm proud as a Virginian today. We'll see you at future Bigaloos. Uh, I hope so. I mean, or I hope you won't see me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great one. Thank you, you too. Six Emperor Tyrannus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what brings you out here to Richmond, Virginia? I support gun rights. They call me the gun girl. Of course I'm here. <laughs> why saw, Why wouldn't I be here? Right. Why are uh, gun rights or... Uh, are important to you. Like, what do you think is, uh, I mean, is this a rifle, right? Do you really need that? Yeah. 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 And I need tanks and I need nuclear weapons. The Second Amendment is not about just rifles. It's whatever the government has, I am allowed to have. It's about my right to self-defense, not only against people here that want to hurt me, it's against people like Governor Ralph Northam who wants to take that right away from me. So if he can use it for his protection, I can use it for my protection. Right, he does walk around with his uh, bodyguards, right? Yeah, probably, I would assume. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's somewhere bunkered up today <laughs> with a lot of guns around him. So, uh, and I've noticed there's a lot of fencing and walls around. I guess the governor, the Democratic governor, thinks walls work. The Democrats are showing that they apparently do love walls, right? They do, yeah. <laughs> big revelation today, Democrats love walls here in Virginia. What do you think of, um, like, if these laws are to pass, for example, that it would be the police that would have to be enforced them, right? Yeah. What do you think of the, the opinion that maybe then they're not really so much on our side and protecting yeah, our rights? I think one of the big things that gun owners have to get across, and I've talked about this a lot on my YouTube channel, Liberty Hangout, is that the police, you can't have a back the blue sticker and a don't tread on me sticker because the people that are gonna come and tread on you are the police, they are the military, they are the National Guard. And I've asked them before, there's some, there's a lot of good ones out there that wouldn't enforce that, but there are still cops out there who just take orders and don't question it. And those are the ones you have to be wary about. Those are the ones that, you know, I've got it on video. If you go watch uh, some of our videos on our YouTube channel, I have a cop admitting to my face that he supports the Second Amendment. But if he was ordered to go door to door to confiscate firearms, he would do it. And I think there's a lot more like that out there than gun owners want to admit. Right. I mean, you have Supreme Court cases that says they have no obligation to protect life, liberty or death. Right. Yeah. And you have the incident in uh, Texas at Park uh, High School or then which the, the sheriffs were hiding. Right. Instead of engaging. Right. In, in Florida. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they were hiding. 
Um, that, that's what they do. I mean, I, I, I don't hate cops. I'm not a cop hater, uh, but I am skeptical of their authority. A badge does not give you the right to come and take people away and uh, force them to do things and give orders to. A badge is not a symbol that you have more rights than I do. So I right. think I think that badge gives them a little superiority complex. Right. So something uh, to think about. Last two questions, like what does it mean if you have like the entire world looking at us, all the states looking at what happens here can happen to the rest of the country. You have Hong Kong look at like us as an example of how to fight back. What does it mean to be an American? I think what it means to be an American, I guess, is to be yourself. Because when you look at America, there's so many different factions of people in America. To be an American means you can simply just be yourself. So there's people that would protest this. They're American, too. And there's people who support gun rights. They're American. But when you get down to the core and you look at what America is, it was built on the foundation of your God-given rights. And the most important one is to defend your life. There are no other rights if you cannot defend your life. So you have the, li the right to life. How do you have the right to life? By protecting it. And that's something that we all need to be important about. But I think we're safe here if uh, the gun grabbers came and tried to do anything. I mean, look at the turnout right. today. I don't think it would end well for anybody if they really tried to send in and confiscate firearms. So I don't think anyone got arrested today. No, I mean, everyone was trying to play this up, make people scared to come. And that's just that's right. disgusting. They try to paint this as a big picture that, oh, it's going to be so bad and, you know, bad things are going to happen. And TIFF are going to be bust in and yeah. by the dozens. That I don't. Are they even here? I have never seen any of them, yeah. Here? They probably got scared. I mean, why would, like, look at everybody. I don't know what, but. Um, so, uh, last question. So, if there were, was a big uh, case here where there are gun grabbers coming in here, we can count on you enjoying the big igloo. The big igloo. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, if you say that word, you get, like, flagged. Oh, have right. you heard about that? No, if you say that word on the internet, they, like, flag you and uh, they go to your door and, like, search. Um, and the I great ice cream social. The, the ice cream so yeah so um yeah sure i'll be there with you <laughs> be, i don't want the cops to look at this and then <laughs> i'm gonna have the cops at my door so, uh, so yeah have, i love ice cream <laughs> all right there we go yeah <laughs> our last yeah. thing is we have our taxation is theft here uh, mm -hmm. do you think taxation is theft oh yeah it's absolutely theft i don't know what's the definition of of theft taxation, taxation. yeah absolutely so yeah. <laughs> well thank you so much for coming out uh six and for a tyrannist thank you yeah. all right